Okay, so this next video, we're going to open our document, John Smith, which we saved um, in the last video, and you'll see I've got my beautiful transverse wave here, and you'll notice I've got the amplitude, which is the distance from the equilibrium to the crest, or if you like, the equilibrium from the trough. Okay, that's my amplitude. So this is a crest, this is a trough, and a wavelength is, say, from crest to crest, or from trough to trough, or if you like, from equilibrium to the repeating equilibrium position. So let's start labeling the wave. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll label the crest and the trough. So if we go up the top here, and we go to insert, um, what you'll get here is a little menu for shapes. And if you're labeling, it's best to use just a normal straight line. So I'm gonna pick out a straight line, and I'm gonna click and drag, and I'm going to drag that all the way down to here, okay? And you just double click when you get to the bit you need. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a text box. So I just click text box and I click and drag here. And what I've labeled there is the crest. So inside the text box now, inside the text box, I'm going to write crest and I'll go back to home, and in home, see how crest is to the left? I'm going to just align it into the middle there, and then I'm going to move the text box so that the word crest just sits at the bottom of the line, okay? Now you'll notice there the line doesn't quite reach, so what I'll do is I'll just stretch the line out until it touches the word crest. Okay, so there we go. Now I've labeled the crest. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to label the trough. So I'll do the same thing again. I'll go to insert. Come on, come on, it's a bit slow. Here we go, insert, shapes, pick a line out, draw from there to there. Try to keep it nice and neat. Click off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose we go. Okay. Uh, going to go and insert. If I go to shapes, you see here, the one with the A, that's a text box. So I'm just going to draw the text box in there. Okay. This is trough. Okay. And so I'll just move that up a little bit. It's a bit nicer. Computer's just running a little bit slow, but that's okay. It's my trough. Okay, so I've labeled the crest, I've labeled the trough. Okay, um, the next thing now I'll do is amplitude, which is the distance from the equilibrium to the crest. Okay, or the distance from the equilibrium to the trough. So I think I'll label it here, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the arrow out the side here and I'll label inside it. So I'm going to go insert. Now for this one, I'm going to pick a double-sided arrow. Okay, so I'm going to pick a double-sided arrow. I'm going to install that there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it, insert, shapes. I'm going to pick the text box, and I'll draw the text box across there. And inside the text box, it's all going a bit crazy now, isn't it? If you ever make a mistake, you just press Command Z. So I want my text box to go there. Okay, so you can see I've got the line there, and I've got my text box there, and I write the word amplitude in there. Okay, you know, I can just make the box a little bit wider. Okay, so you can see it. But one thing I might do is I might put the word a little bit to the left there. Okay, and just leave it there to the left. Okay. Um, now I'm going to label the wavelength, and I'm going to choose to label from the crest to the crest. So I'll go back here, I'll go insert, shape. I'll pick a nice double-sided arrow, and I'll send that across, okay? 
Now, you can muck around with the arrow. If you double click on it, you see it's thinking and you can actually start playing around with the arrow. So, for example, if I want to change the color of it to black, I can do that. Um, what else can you do? You can change um, how thick the arrow is. Okay, so I made it a bit thicker there. Um, you can also change how big the arrows on the end are. You can do that as well. Okay, something like that. Um, and the begin arrow size, we can change that as well. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go back there and I'm going to put the text box in. So insert. text box and I'm going to put my text box right there okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the text box this time I don't know what's happened there I'm in the header so I'll go back out of that there's my text box and I'm going to double click on that and you'll see here I've got fill and line and it says no line which means you can't see the outline of the text box when I click off it okay it's still there and then for fill I'm going to choose to do um, solid fill, but I'm going to change the color to white. The reason why I'm doing that is when I place the text box over the arrow, as such, what you can see now is that when I put in the word wavelength, it'll be in line with the arrow. I'll just make it a bit shorter. Okay, I'll get rid of that. Okay, so now I've got my four labels. I've got crest, trough, just move that a little bit down out of the way there. There we go, that's better. Crest, trough, amplitude, and wavelength. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it and get ready for the next video.